Welcome back to episode 4 of the Jagba Project. If you're new here, welcome. We're on a series where we are learning how to apply and win fully funded scholarships. Today, we are looking at Clarkson University located in New York, here in the United States. As usual, I'll walk you through how to land fully funded scholarships that are available to all graduate students. We'll break down the application process step by step and basically everything you need to know to apply to Clarkson as an international student. If you apply what you learn in this video, then we'll be celebrating your testimony soon. Okay, let's jump right in. First things first, this always blows my mind that 80.6% of you who regularly watch these videos have not yet subscribed. So can I ask you for a favor before we start? If you like this Jackpot project and the rest of the videos on this channel, then the free simple way to support me is by hitting the subscribe button. And if you do that, my team and I will do all that is in our power to find the best opportunities for you. Thank you very much. So this is the homepage of Clarkson University. Before we get started, just a few stats about the school. First of all, they are an R2 school. As we usually do on this channel, we only focus on R1 and R2 schools because there you get quality education and prospects of a good paying job after your program. So this is an R2 school. They have high doctoral research output and the acceptance rate is 77%. Before we get into the application, I just want to show you that there's no application fee for all the scholarships that we'll be talking about today. So now let's look at the scholarships that they have available. Um, so this is graduate students and we are international students. It's important to note that we are eligible for all university grants, scholarships and assistantships, but loans are only eligible to American citizens. So let's see the university awards that are available and that's really what I want to show you. So all graduate students are considered for university merit-based financial assistance, including tuition, assist, um, teaching assistantships, research assistantships, fellowships, and scholarships. We will be majorly focusing on teaching and research assistantships. And what are they? So TA provides a stipend plus full tuition, which is what we want. So this stipend handles your living expenses uh, and then you can get the full tuition. In exchange for that, you'll be working 12 hours per week for 50 weeks or 20 hours per week for 30 weeks. Um, RA, you have no teaching responsibilities, but you still get a stipend and full tuition. So this is what we want and I'll show you how to get it. There are also partial tuition scholarships that are available and these assistantships offer 20 to 40% tuition waiver equivalent. We have to do our best to get this TA and RAs that come with full tuition. So now let's look at the programs that they have available, the graduate programs that they have available. First of all, Clarkson, they don't have a lot of programs. I think there are about 40 graduate programs. Um, but you also want to check if yours is here. I'm seeing chemical, I'm seeing civil, I'm seeing electrical. We're going to be looking at two of them in this video. If you want us to cover yours in a future video, you can comment below the course you want to study. So for PhD, we'll be looking at computer science, PhD, and environmental science for masters. So in each of these program pages, we're looking for two things, application requirements and available assistantships. So running straight into it, Admission requirements are here. Online application form, I'll show you that really soon. Resume and statement of purpose. These two documents need to be really strong. And I have resources that are prepared to help you with your resume and your SOP. The link in the description below. Also three letters of recommendation, official transcript. So official transcript means you have to request your school where you had your undergrad degree to send the transcript directly to Clarkson University. So if you have your copy, you cannot upload it while applying. And then Jerry test scores are required for this PhD in computer science program. Waivers will be considered so you can reach out for a waiver. Um, international applicants, English proficiency, and then we have some tests here. I will show you really soon how we can waive this um, English proficiency test. So that's about the requirements. And then the scholarships, PhD applicants are eligible for fully funded research or teaching assistantship. So this is what I showed you that had the full tuition. They are eligible for it. They may also receive merit-based scholarships that cover part of their tuition. So probably those that don't get the full funding, they now get merit-based that covers a part of their tuition. So this is why this application is going to be competitive 
for you to stand out you have to ensure that your application packet is strong and what are the main drivers your resume your statement of purpose you need to have strong academic recommenders and non-academic recommenders if you have work experience and then if you have the gre that will be a very big plus on your profile but all of that stands on the foundation of your undergrad cgpa so how high was a cgpa when you finished so that was for computer science now let's look at the masters in environmental science uh, moving down <laughs> scholarships limited number of fully funded research and teaching assistantships are available so there's a limited number means your application needs to be strong and partial tuition scholarships and stipends are available for qualified full-time students so some people will get fully funded some will get partial tuition scholarships with stipends how do you get fully funded stronger application now admission requirements still the same resume statement of purpose now two letters of recommendation not three this is why you have to check your program official transcript still gre is encouraged but not required and people that did their undergrad in clarkson with a cgp of 3.25 on a 4.0 scale they have automatic admission that's good news for them we have to prepare a strong application and submit and then they gave a very good tip here that can help you to be competitive so it says no minimum gpa is required for admission but then a gpa that's greater than 3.25 over 4.0 not 5.0 in your bachelor's in a related field is a superior record of academic achievement so if you got at least 3.25 on a 4.0 scale you can use the free west calculator to convert your cgpa from whatever scale it is to the 4.0 scale so that you know you have a sense of how strong your profile is if you got above 3.25 then you have a stronger shot at getting those fully funded research and teaching assistantships as i promised now i'll show you how to waive the english proficiency test so here they have some countries that qualify for english proficiency exemption if you did your undergraduate studies in any one of these countries so as you can see um there are several african countries here there's ghana here um there's nigeria here there's namibia south africa um jamaica kenya malawi zambia zimbabwe there are several african countries here so if you studied your undergrad in any one of these countries you don't need to submit an english proficiency test so now it's time to apply we come to this application instructions page three basic steps number one you create an account or you log in number two you complete the application form which i'll show you and then you submit your additional document so you must have prepared those documents first before applying your personal statement resume letter of recommendation university transcripts and then gre if your program requires it and remember that these transcripts are official transcripts so what i mean by preparing it is that you have to request your school to send it to Claxon after you've submitted the application form all right so let's create an account first so here you put your email address your first name last name and your birthday you hit continue then they'll send you a pin when you receive the pin you put your password and then we can come here and now log in so when you log in it brings you back to this page and this <laughs> confused me for a while but all you have to do is just to scroll down and then you see oh you are logged in so your applications you have not started yet so we're going to click start a new application 2026 yes that's when we're applying to and then open application so here we're filling your personal background we're going to fill in all of this you fill in your personal background then we move to a program of study you select the program that you're interested in so let's say we want to do um, the environmental sciences masters in environmental science so science on-site yes we're interested in on-site semester you're interested in applying for fall 2026 i'm interested in full-time or part-time as an international student to be full-time we have limited number of assistantships would you consider attending Claxon? if you were not awarded an assistantship it's very good to be honest here if you won't be able to come if you are not given a scholarship then put no i would definitely just put no here you need to be considered please indicate your preference we want both of them research and teaching assistantship you want to be considered for teaching have you had any prior experience in this capacity or a similar one yes some of us doing national service nyc you taught in schools that's teaching experience and then you give a brief description of that here a don't fill in program of study you do academic history your employment your test scores recommendation and then material upload. don't show you something in material upload it says here that after submitting your official documentation below you may upload any unofficial documentation so if you have your copy of your transcript you can upload it but you still need your official copy to be sent to Clarkson University. So 
upload the unofficial first i hope you're able to use it to make a decision and then you send the official one later after you've been admitted but if they don't just bear in mind that you have to send your official copy from your school then you upload your resume and your sop here after which you put in your full name here to sign then you review all you've done and you submit and that's it you've applied to Claxton university when you get your testimony please come back to this video and let us know to see other schools on the jackpot project you can check out this playlist but if you want to build your profile remember these assistantships they need a strong application packet then you want to check this out next i'll see you in the next one bye